Hello, 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 and welcome to Mathematically Yu-Gi-Oh! Today, we're jumping right into the calculations for two card combos. The first thing I want to show you here is the raw data. For the number of cards you're running in your deck, to see exactly two or two or more of your two card combos. And this is the raw data here, so the first thing I want to do is convert this raw data into a whole number to make it easier on your eyes and easier to talk about. Now, if you want to see the exact uh, raw data again, uh, unrounded, please feel free to go back and pause the video. But this is the data I'm going to use uh, when I'm talking about two card combos. So what kind of decks, firstly, before I even talk about and explain, use a two card combo? Well, most of you would know, but let's just say something like Sword Soul, where you need to show a worm uh, when you play a worm, right? So you play a worm, you need to show a worm. Or a deck like Runic, where you play a Runic card to get Hugin, to special summon Hugin, who then gets the field spell, and then you play another Runic card uh, to activate your field spell. You guys see, and that's to get your two-card combo going. But you, using Runic as an example, uh, and, and how to analyze this chart, let's say I'm playing eight Runic cards. I have a 21% chance to see exactly two of them, but I have also have a 26% chance to see two or more runic cards. And I just noticed now that my head is in the way. So uh, to see 12, 13, 14, 15 is 33, 35, 36, and 37 respectively. And let's say something like runic, right? I'm playing 21 of them. I have a 31% chance to see exactly two runic cards and an 86% chance to see two or more. And what's interesting to note is that the more cards you play, you start to see less and less. And this could be relevant for something like a Soul Day or cards that you just want to see exactly two. And why do you want to see exactly two? Well, let's just say you're playing a starter and an extender and you don't need to see any more because those could have been something like a hand trap or it could have been a uh, utility or a board breaker or whatever other tech cards you want to run um, these cards end up being wasted a waste of space because you're running you just needed to see exactly two meanwhile something like runic you could have you could make use of the extra runic cards uh whether or not like you could play them on the next turn or something they have much much more utility that's why i'm showing you two different uh sets of data let me put them on a graph too to easily more easily show you uh, so this line right here represents the seeing exactly two cards and this line represents the number of extenders you're playing to see more than two or more cards so we're, again we're talking about decks like i'm saying the soul day and, and decks that use a soul day but again there's so many other decks that you just need your starter and your extender and your going places or you just need your extender that could just special summon itself from the hand and any monster right things like that if you just play decks like that you're going to want to run between 14 to 18 cards because that's where it starts to plateau meanwhile for decks like runic feel free to run uh up to 21 uh, all the way up to 26 uh, cards so you can get your combos going you could see here the difference between the decks and the two card combo decks and that's what i really want to show and emphasize not all two card combo decks are built the same and certain ones you want to play different ratios than others and i feel these are the ratios for those different kinds of decks and those two card combo decks but again i was talking about other kinds of two card combo decks you have things such as pendulums, right? Where you want to play a low skill and then you also play a high skill. Maybe you run half and half. Those kinds of decks uh, have to be computed individually, right? You're running your labyrinth and you're playing a weird labyrinth ratio. You're playing like half furniture and half uh, labyrinth cards. Very hard to compute because you have to do that on an individual basis. Maybe you're playing 10, uh, a 70, 30, or I don't know your percentages. So if you really want to know, get back to me in the comments below. And also we have to be aware of very intricate things. Like for example, a lot of these two card combo decks, their starters are also extenders. 
and or they could draw a card or they can make a card that can get an additional card so now their two card combo could have is a one card combo and we have to think about metas certain things we're like we're playing in tcg master duel for example some cards are banned or not and again when we're talking about two card combos there's a lot that needs to go on because now a lot of these even when i'm talking about pendulum look at these these new pendulum decks are all one card combos right you play super heavy samurai you start with this or you're playing valmonica these are one card combo decks now or if you can even get into exceed the pendulum which recently came out this if you get here this just gets any pendulum deck going very hard to compute so if you have things like that or if special ratios let me know in the comments below um like and subscribe and i'll try to get to you and try to compute what your exact percentages are for seeing your two card combos but if you can uh let's talk about my favorite uh kind of two card combos certainly they don't also have to be uh combos for starters they can also be board breaking combos an example is this one of my favorite old combos was i would play uh, a number of kaijus in my deck i would play a bunch of kaijus use gamma cell the sea turtle over one right let's say they had an appaloosa and the baron i would gamma cell the baron and then i would play uh, a bunch of alpha master of beasts i would play like two of them and by the way this combo was like a five percenter right so this is why it's uh fun to know but it's good to know your combos don't always have to be extenders as well. So I would play uh, Alpha, attack into Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, uh, during the battle phase. And then Alpha's effect I would activate during main phase 2, which brings Alpha back to the hand and Gamma Seal back to my hand as well. And that's just a, an example of a very bad, by the way, two-card combo I ran. But just to show you that they didn't have to be uh, exactly... Um, starters or extenders that they could be used for board breaking as well you could use this different uh things anyways uh and then by the way i would go and go on to normal summon like prank kids or i would play generators and i was very uh <laughs> rogue i love playing road decks back in the way back in the day anyways if you really like this video and you want more math i have uh videos about cypher gamma two, uh one card combos uh i have starter percentages uh lots and lots of more mathematically Yu-Gi-Oh videos and please let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see maybe we talk about hand traps and board breakers next just let me know in the comments i hope you guys found this video useful and i had a great time talking about two card combos i'll see you guys next time bye